Hi guys, it's Hectic Blades, and today I'm just going to be doing a quick video to show you the best settings to use with the K World GM220. So I'm using the software they provided, um, software that comes with the the K World, and basically what you want to do is if you go to capture. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what settings to record with. I do use this to record, seeing as I find it's better quality. Um, I don't use the other software that they rec that they provided, the TIVME, however you pronounce that. Um, and as you can see, I've actually got my Roxio Game Capture plugged in because I don't currently have the K World because it was my mates and that's what that's what I've been testing. Well, that doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you some of the settings that you'll want to use. Um, so I've created a profile here. Um, so if you click profile, um, and press new, you can make your own custom profile, and these are the options you'll want. If you go to video, um. The resolution you want 1920 by 1080, which is 1080 i um, and you want to drag the slider across to 7, highest quality, um, and leave the audio how it is, so that's alright. Um, and once you've done that, that's pretty much the capture side of it sorted. When you capture it, it'll only be in 4x3 resolution, but you can change that in the editing software. Um, you might want to change the brightness and contrast settings, all sorts of color correction and stuff on here. You can also change it when you have when you get into the editing software, but I recommend you probably change what you want here first. So once you've finished recording what you want, um, you'll then go into edit, and it'll import what you've recorded. Um, seeing as oh, I'm just going to use a clip that I've pre-recorded, um, I just left the brightness how it was with this one. Um, but like I said, it might be an idea to t actually change it in there. Um, so the first thing you'll want to do is set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 and that's sort of put it into widescreen format and if you go into fix and enhance you can change the color adjustment also from here to whatever you feel looks right You, you do lose a bit of quality sometimes when you're doing it on here though um, but yeah just feel free to set that to whatever you want you can get a quick preview of how it's going to look on here you can put that into full screen it won't necessarily look like that that's just before it's rendered so yeah that's that so once you've so once you've set that, um, what you want to do now is go to produce. Um, there's a couple of options you can do. I find the best one is, I think it's, um, which one is it? Let me think. You want to do. this one and actually create a new profile on the AVC and set it to pretty much what you set the the um, capture settings to so the same one again and 7 highest quality don't know what use D blocking is so just leave that ticked and leave the audio as it is because that should be fine so once you've set all that up, it's your choice whether you enable preview. Um, then just start rendering it. Um, 
and once it's rendered it should come out pretty good quality um, I'm just gonna pause this now and when it's rendered I'll show you the final quality okay I'm back guys so um, now that that's finished rendering um, you see where it's where the output folder is so um, it's saved to my videos produce dot m2ts so that'll be um, so we need to go to documents why am I going to documents right we need to go to videos um, and it will be this one now I apologize because you might not be able to see very well uh, what quality it's actually come out as but I can assure you for a K world that's not bad quality actually I think that's better than I've got before brightness might need sorting a little bit um, but no I think that's that's pretty good quality so yeah see what you think to that guys um, yeah so I've been Hectic Blades and I'll see you next time